All right, so this is a 175-pound clean and jerk. This video is actually taken a couple of weeks ago um, at 175. My PR is 185. So this isn't far off. I'm getting pretty heavy for me. I'm only 160 pounds, so this is my body weight plus 15. PR is body weight plus 25, so it's uh, not bad for you know a guy that's only been doing this about a year or so. And again, I'm not a... Um, certified you know Olympic lifter by any stretch I just do it I love it and that's why I make these videos so just a little self analysis based on what some of the you know people who are much better than I tell me at the gym and that sort of thing um, starting with that pull the first thing I notice obviously is let's turn the volume down the straight back or lack of straight back you can see that uh, there's a real bend there, and you want to keep that as tight as possible to avoid injury. As for the bar, here's the bar path, or at least what the bar path should be. You can go straight up. Not bad. But you can see, again, I'm moving kind of forward a little bit. Um, this is something I wanted to throw out there for debate because let me just clear this I uh, co a coach told me this the other day when I was doing back squats actually that um, uh, you know she was telling me to stop like I'm used to going all the way down like this this is what I've always done and you can see that sort of roundness it almost creates a bit of that that sort of round back again and I'm sitting real nice and low and a lot of people will say in terms of cleans it's a good squat but her argument was that this whole area here is shut off. The core is shut off because you've gone too low. And you get what she called, I think she called it round back. So you can see, or, you know, round butt. You can see kind of where that is. Uh, whereas back up here, right about there, see I'm still below parallel. But the back is a lot straighter. Not even still. So uh, this may not be the greatest example to use uh, in terms of what her argument was, but maybe some of you guys can chime in on that. Like, do you want to go that low? Like, I'm really sitting down there. I didn't notice a difference in terms of my ability to get the bar up. Didn't make a difference to me, but um, maybe there is some truth to that. So there you go. Here's the jerk. I'm notorious for pushing forward, and I'll guarantee you I do it here. Down. Yep, for sure. Again, this is something that um, I'm working on. It's a lot easier said than done, like most things in weightlifting. But you can see, as soon as I dip here, there, you see that forward movement? It's what you don't want. You want a straight path up all the way. But, you know, I'm, I'm sort of doing that lean forward, and that will knock your balance off, for sure, on your stance. But I've got pretty quick feet, so I think I adjust for it. Not bad. Could use a bit more straight arm strength here, I would think. You can see a bit of a bend there, but um, all in all, not bad for 175. I mean, for a lift that's you know pretty close to about as heavy as I, I can go. Um, you know, I don't want to over critique it, but uh, still got a lot of cleaning up to do. No pun intended. So there's one video down, and uh, more to come. I'll. Uh, I'll keep doing this every now and again, and uh, if you guys like it, great. If you don't, it is what it is, but we'll see you next time.